And Mario, you've done this a few times, watching new administrations come in. What, what are you watching this time around and kind of thinking it means for Wall Street? Thank you. Uh, good question. I started investing, actually, 13 presidents ago at uh, Eisenhower, so I went through his heart attack and so on. Basically, uh, you know, we look for a more cooperation in Congress. Uh, he knows how to deal with the pluses and minuses. From my point of view, though, the climate, what is he going to do about it? That's a focus. What is he going to do about the fundamentals of America, which is uh, basically the rule of law and getting make sure we're following that again? And the secondly, uh, it, with all the flaws, the free market system. And third, education and education and education so we can help income inequality. Then the th next question is, how do we raise money to pay for what we have to do? From my point of view, Becky, I need precision with regards to this new stimulus. Give money to the hotel and trade workers in New York. Give it to the people in Nevada. Give it to others that are in need because of what's happened to travel and leisure. Obviously, from the COVID point of view, he's got that focus for the first 100 days until we get the vaccine out. Then step back and say, how do we grow America? And that is through infrastructure and put that money in. That's not only roads, bridges, but it's also broadband. Uh, the F Federal Communications Commission with a departing commissioner, Ajit Pai, put out their biannual reviews of what's going on in broadband. So those are the, some of the dynamics that we look at. And then obviously raise taxes, at, whether it's for individuals or corporations. Let's talk about that tax aspect of it. Uh, Governor Cuomo of New York talking about how he's going to be looking for higher taxes on the wealthiest New Yorkers. I think for New York City residents, it would mean a top rate of 14.7 percent. What does that mean? It, it, he's got a big budget deficit he's got to address. There's got to be a way to do that. But does he yeah, risk uh, driving out some of those wealthiest New Yorkers? That's OK. Look, the answer is New York City's got a problem with regards to uh, the way it's governed. And it's not going to drive New Yorkers unless they uh, continue to not pay attention to crime in the streets. When the guardian angels come back, that's an issue. Independent of that, salt tax, the rate on individuals should go higher. However, you have to examine for places like New York, and that's what Schumer's got, job has got to be. What is going to happen with the salt tax? What's going to happen with salt tax with the middle class in America? And should that be eliminated? The flight of capital is easy. The question is, how do we also solve the problems of the inner cities? And uh, so, you know, stopping crime is an important part. Taxes are an important element. And uh, the deductibility. So taxes on a corporation, the rate, it's, uh, when we raise $3.5 trillion, corporations are about 240 of that. You know, we have to deal, uh, go lightly over the next 12 months on that part. Nominal rates, yes. A minimum cash tax, yes. Eliminate uh, the territorial, no. Uh, 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 continued bonus depreciation for equipment, absolutely. So there are pluses and minuses on that. And uh, they're going to work on this with a microscope. From an individual's, clearly we have to have individuals pay more from a cosmetic point of view and also a substance. But the real mm -hmm. grower, Becky, of tax revenues is working people. And the increase in growth and the amount that we pay in is Social Security and so on. So that's it. Mary, let me let me just ask, though, it, it, obviously you think that people should be paying higher taxes and that's OK for places like New York City to raise the taxes. But you also seem to think that salt is pretty important. If you don't get salt reinstated, you OK with higher taxes then? Well, the, the practical side is fairly uncommon. If you're paying 14.7 percent in New York and it's 50 percent federal, you're paying 65 percent. You know, that's probably going beyond what I consider and the American public consider fair. OK, so uh, how do we keep it at the 50, 50 odd percent? If you are able to deduct the state of New York tax of 14.7 percent or California's 15 or whatever they're up to, uh, then you look at uh, the notion of deductibility of that. So a 45 percent federal, you get up to about a 50 percent all in tax. And you're going to but that's not going to necessarily stop the uh, intellectual capital moving to areas where they create critical mass. But that's a different issue. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.